Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show. We're so thrilled to have on an incredible author, percussionist. He's a motivational speaker. He does it all. He's got his own podcast. My buddy, Rich Redmond. Rich, thanks for coming on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. This is great. I can't believe this is your third book, Making It in Country Music. How do you find time for this? I mean, 24 years with Jason Aldean. Yeah. And you got a new book out. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. Writing a book is a heck of a process. As you know, right. you've cranked out a couple of them. But uh, <laughs> this has been kind of in, in the making for years. I had a, a different co-author. I love co-authors because co-authors, they help you get it across the finish line. Right. And they have that 50,000 foot view. They're like, let's change this, change this. They get you out of your head. Well, right? especially for you, Rich, because you're such an in-demand session player also in Nashville and in L.A. Yeah. So it's like you got to schedule things like sleep and coffee even. Yeah, we did this. I did this on a lot of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays a year ago and on the bus the bus is going down the highway and you're writing and I'm zooming with my co-author but Jennifer Delazana she's fantastic so we had a we had a ball well when I saw the book was coming out I had to have you on the show and I also noticed that you do have a few people such as Pete Fisher who uh, writes a little thing about you on the back here how does it feel with their third book out? Because I know your first two books have done so well. Yeah. You know, with the, with the first one aimed at kids more, but, and this one definitely aimed at helping people come into Nashville yeah. who want to get into the biz, just like you did, you know, when you first came into Nashville. Yeah. Well, I moved to Nashville 25 years ago, and somehow I am now an insider. I mean, it, it took forever. As you know, Nashville is its own crazy little ecosystem, but um, it's just kind of like a love letter to Nashville in the mm -hmm. sense that Nashville's been so great to me, and there, it's a hot city right now. Right. It's, I feel like, one of the last places for the music business. People yeah. are coming here for the lifestyle, for the opportunities, and people might think, oh, this is a drum book, or it's just for musicians, but it's actually for anyone because I kind of try to outline the, the how the ecosystem works, how right. it all works together, and what the jobs that are here for even non-musicians mm -hmm. because you can be um, a songwriter, a song publicist, you can own the publishing company, you can drive the big rig trucks, you could be a stage manager, you could be a road manager, you could be the guy hanging the stuff over <laughs> our head every night. There's so many jobs in the music business right. and the thing is you just got to get here. Yes, and, mm -hmm. and I tell so many people too, Rich, and you know this as well, a lot of time it's getting your foot in the door. Yeah. You know, and just like you've done where you proved yourself, and also, I gotta brag on you some, man. You know, as if being with Jason Aldean for 24 years is not enough, you have played on albums and toured with people such as Dolly, Brooks and Dunn, Ludacris, the list goes on and on. So And, and so, you know, in between writing popular books and doing your own audio version of the books, you're also doing all this session work and getting pulled on other projects when you're not out with Jason. Well, yeah, I mean, this is, you know, I just, everything is mindset to me. You know, like years ago when I moved here in uh, 97, it was like right after that boom, that Alan Jackson gone country boom. Right. And country music took a little bit of a dip there. It was dark for a second. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, got, I experienced all that. Um, but then I just kind of realized, you know what? I want to be a touring musician, yes, but I also want to be a recording musician. And right. back in the day, the music business was so robust. It was so healthy. Mm -hmm. The guys that were playing on the records, they were doing three sessions a day. They never right. went on the it road. It was one or the other. One or the other. And you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to do Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday. When we are home in Nashville, I'm going to try to write songs, produce records, mm -hmm. play on other people's records, kind of like teach, you know, right. get dirty, you know, use that time in a responsible way. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we take the music <laughs> to the people, which is so awesome. You, you know? know, it's just, you know, once again, knowing you and we have so many mutual friends and you accomplish so much, but also, Rich, you know, you, you produced Parma Lee and, you know, and, and Thompson Square, it's like, you know, in your spare time. <laughs> we had some late nights, you know. <laughs> the thing about pr the, the producing is, is, that's why drummers make great producers, because we're behind everything. Mm -hmm. We kind of, like, see the big picture. Right. But for about a decade, I had a production company with uh, Tully Kennedy, Kurt Allison, and David Fanning, and we were lucky enough to to get uh, to uh, produce a number one song for Parmalee and two number ones for Thompson Square. So those are really, really long days. You're trying to create, to pull the best out of people, get their best performances, try to create a sonic brand, a sonic identity. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of 20 hour days, but you know, it, this is what we love. We're passionate about right. it. And if you've chosen the right thing to be passionate about, it never feels like work, mm -hmm. which allows you to work harder. And the harder you work, the more people, places, circumstances, opportunities cross your path to be successful. Well, you know, and so many people, and you and I were joking before we came in studio to where you know they'll see you out on tour particularly with Jason Aldean and you're just rocking the drums and people do not realize that also you are a very well educated person I mean you have a master's in music 
You know, and so, I mean, you know, you have a, a wider berth of knowledge, I guess I would say, Rich. Well, it's nice. You know, I always encourage students of mine to have that deep well. In other words, to be over-prepared for mm -hmm. life, what life throws at you. So I was lucky enough to, you know, study music with Alan Shin at Texas Tech University, and then I got my master's degree at the famed University of North Texas. And when I was there, I played in the One O'Clock Lab Band, which is like, arguably the greatest collegiate jazz band on the planet. Right. And it, it was just, it was great, because I got to play all sorts of music, everything from ABBA to Zappa <laughs> and everything in between. So when I came to Nashville, it was like really just kind of like learning the rules of country music. I mm -hmm. tell people, if you want to break the rules, you got to learn the rules first. So, uh, you know, I bought all the greatest hits, you know, Dolly and Tammy and all. So just, just to kind of, you know, get this kid from Connecticut to be familiar with this music. Right. And uh, as a result, it has been an amazing journey. Well, and the thing is, I mean, you've played on 30 number one hits and it's like, and you're able to cross between any genre of music and a lot of musicians can't do that. And I think what I appreciate about you, Rich, when I listen to the tracks that you're on, and I've got, obviously I've listened to a lot of them, is that even when you produce them, you're not one of those guys that make the drums come out front. You're not like the lead guitar guy that goes, well, we need to rub some more lead guitar on that. Turn it up. You know, <laughs> you, you, are, you always serve the song. And I, I think that says it. a lot about, you know, your abilities. Well, I appreciate it. It's, well, you know, we're in the home of three chords and the truth. You know, we're, <laughs> we're telling stories about the heartland. We're telling these stories that almost all people in the United States can relate to. Mm -hmm. And then thanks to Shania, you know, in, in that the 90s, the drums just kept getting hotter and hotter in the mix. Yes. But st not to the point where, because, you know, in country, the vocal is right there. And that's what's so great, because that story is being told. Totally. And so all the musicians are, need to be on that team to lift that thing and stay out of the way. And that's, a, that's, a, that's a, um, elevating what we do to kind of a high art, which is just staying right. out of the way. And But we're living in the songwriting capital of the world. You know, the songs that I'm recording almost on a daily basis are, they play themselves. Well, I think you're such an incredible drummer, though, too, Rich, and, and so humble. Oh, but it's like, you know, you get to play with Jason's music, which I love the, the music, and you've been with him on this 24-year ride, incredible. to where it's not only country, but you get to rock some. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you are, you're basically living the rock star life up there on stage. You're yeah. not just, you're not, and nothing against the traditional country, yeah. but you're bringing, you know, the new, fresh rockin' country, yeah. and you're a part of that. It's, it feels so amazing, you know, and, you know, props, of course, to, you know, Jason and his producer and his entire team, you know, to, to hold on to a band for that amount of time. That mm -hmm. is not the norm. I mean, a lot of people, no. they, they change bands once a year, like, you know, their, their clothing. Right. And uh, if you want to create this family environment where people finish each other's sentences and they can really be accountable to each other and create this product that just grows and grows and grows every year, you got to keep the same people around, mm -hmm. which is an amazing thing. So I'm really grateful and humbled by that. And, and, and Jason never says do this, do that. He just trusts us and lets us be uniquely ourselves, wow. which is a really wonderful situation to be in. And, and, and I think very few artists have that kind of reach where they appeal to male and female 15 to 55. Right. That is nearly impossible to do mm -hmm. because there's, there's the, tra the traditional elements, there's the elements of what's happening in, in you know, hip hop, and then we've got the classic rock thing totally. in there. So it's like, there's something for everyone. There is, but it's know. also a testament to how great of a musician you are uh, to, to be able to blend in that. I gotta bring up also, once again, in your spare time, you have a podcast that already has 158 episodes. Well, you know, I would have had more, but you know, I was like, I don't know if I could tour, record, teach, <laughs> write the book, and do the podcast. So I took a little bit of time off the podcast. My, me and my co-author, Jim McCarthy. Jim McCarthy is a, is a great voiceover artist, and he's right. my voiceover coach, and he's my friend. Friend, and we're just two crazy guys from Connecticut that love the drums. Mm -hmm. And so we said, let's let's start this thing. And, and yeah, 158 episodes later, it's so great because, you know, I want to always work on my hosting skills. So we had like people like, you know, uh, Victoria Jackson from Saturday Night Live and then a world-class producer like Dan Huff or mm -hmm. maybe an amazing front man like Huey Lewis. Right. But let's face it, you know, my low-hanging fruit, all my friends in life were thick as thieves, lots of drummers. Right. So, you know, you're going to hear from Pink's drummer and Cher's drummer mm -hmm. and then the greatest recording drummers in Nashville, your Chad Cromwell's and your Paul Limes and your Eddie Bears's and they're yeah. all friends of mine. So I tell my students, like, look, it, if you stay in the game long enough, you keep doing the right thing. All of your heroes will eventually become your friends. Which and is amazing. 25 years later, I could text these guys. I was like, I grew up... <laughs> learning to play and now I can go like, hey, Martini? It, that's just yeah. crazy. It's I mean, it, it has to feel very odd to you. I mean, you know, starting out as a drummer at eight years old, you know, and, and Rich is like banging on the drums, making noise, and then here you are in the thick of it. And also an actor, 
Mm. You've got your SAG card and everything. So you bounce between Nashville and LA. Right. And so you've done TV shows, you've done film, and you host I a number it. of events here also in Nashville, including at the Ryman, right? Yeah, the Ryman. Oh, my, my friends, Angie and McKe uh, Kel Kelly McCright. Uh, it's a mouthful. They're a great couple, and, and they've had some of the best school of rock mm -hmm. locations in the country. They were winning the Battle of the Bands year after year. So I'm very involved with school of rock. I love music education, and so once a year they have me host their event at the Ryman, mm -hmm. which is really great. They bring in celebrity musicians and all these amazing kids, all ages, get to play all different kinds of music and right. we raise money. It's amazing. And uh, Bach to Rock. Bach to rock and, and Which I rock. just like saying that. That's every <laughs> the kids play everything from Bach to rock. So you got school of rock, you got Bach to rock, and there's this new company called Rock Stars of Tomorrow. Right. But the great thing about these organizations is it's just getting instruments in kids' hands so they can mm -hmm. feel the power of music, and as a result. Even if these kids don't go on to become professional musicians, they learn about persistence, determination, teamwork, time management, follow through, you know, being able to take direction without being offended. These are all right. massively important life skills. So, you know, people say, well, how did you do it? Well, for, for me, it's like really super supportive parents mm -hmm. who were like, you, you don't have to be a doctor, you don't have to be a lawyer, this makes you happy, it brings joy to you, it brings joy to others, we're gonna support this. And then, um, yeah, just, you know, just showing up day after day, you know, with well, a smile and, on your face. And, and also, you know, such a professional as you are, you know, you're still teaching some on the side too, right? I, I have, I've always had a teacher's heart, which is, mm -hmm. which is I'm very grateful uh, for. I've had amazing teachers over the years. So I do, I teach one-on-one. -on -one. In person or online, right. I teach small group classes, master classes. I teach big clinics, you know, big conventions for drummers. Mm -hmm. And I just went back to my alma mater, the University of North Texas. They now have a business program. So I got to speak to the music business program and tell the kids, hey, do this, don't do that, mm -hmm. move here, don't say this, this is where you meet people, uh, which was really, really uh, fun. And then, but my, my current you know, model that I really love so much. It seems to be really resonating. I've already done 12 this year. I call it my drum tensive. And drummers from all over the country, they fly in, they usually bring their wives, send the wives to the Green Hills Mall to go <laughs> shopping. And then we do three hours in the morning, have a nice lunch and do three hours in the afternoon. How incredible. And we just, the, my goal is to have them leave um, with the ability to read music mm -hmm. and more knowledge of different styles. Right. Sometimes people are just rock drummers totally. and, and they, if they learn a little bit of a jazz and they learn some, some Latin stuff like Partido Alto and Samba and Bossa Nova and they learn these other little bit of reggae, the, the well is deeper and they become a more well-rounded marketable musician. Right. What a great thing to do. I mean, it's with so the fun. teaching and, and the motivational drum workshops and everything else you're doing, I mean, you got a lot going on, Rich. It's just dun 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 <laughs> But that's better than just staring at the eye, Calgo, and waiting for the phone to ring. Well, you know? and you've never done that. I mean, and that's what is so impressive, keeping up with you. And, and I know you're going to be doing book signings as well. And you're got, you, is the Audible out? I mean, because I know you cut the audio for it yourself. Well, you know, it's so funny. As my previous book, Crash Courses for Success. Right. Crash Course for Success, Five Ways to Supercharge Your Personal and Professional Life. That is a mouthful. Um, I, that's self-published, which I love. You know, if anybody's got anything to say in this world, you just knock on Jeff Bezos' door, and he's going to let you put your ideas out there. And right. then people just click, and then it's delivered to your front door. I mean, look at the world we're living in. But this is with a, a publishing company called Roman and Littlefield, mm -hmm. and they believed in the book so much, they gave me a hard back. So this is my first hardback book. I know, book. that's what, I mean, this is a quality book, my friend. I'm very excited. You know, and I think that a lot of people are going to want to use this as a roadmap coming to Nashville. And also, Rich, you know, after going through the book myself, it's like just also about music, about, you know, doing the right things, knowing some of the other jobs, like you said. It's, uh, you know, and you're living it. You're a living example of this book. Wow. You know, and so I, I can't wait to see you do talks and everything else and, and actually be out on the road signing these. Yeah. So it's like, so Jason used to set up like a separate merch table for you <laughs> to where it's like, well, here's Rich's table over here on the Incredible. side. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's amazing. It's got things like, you know, mindset and setting goals mm -hmm. and maybe pay attention to your finances and how networking isn't a dirty word and, you know, using social media to, 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 you know, to create a brand and stay relevant and then what the various jobs are in the music business and some funny stories and things that happened to me over the years. And I even like get into some artists that um, played country music in New York or in Los Angeles right. and Nashville and the difference between those markets and because right. you've bounced between these markets yeah you've played in all of them yeah. okay I would be remiss if I didn't bring this up to where obviously going back out on tour with Jason uh, any new drum gear or anything else I know you know using Remo I mean it, let me know you got to tell the audience yeah, what, yeah. what drum gear are you currently 
high well, on and using. Man, I'm so lucky. There's a there's a there's a, a company called uh, Drum Workshop, DW Drums, that oh, I've been yes. playing for over a decade, and they're big believers in me. They believed into me as a as a touring musician, as an educator, and as a recording musician. Right. And uh, every couple of years, they will line me out with a new black drum set. So I've had black sparkle, I've had red sparkle, I've had black and red sparkle, I've had black matte, and then this year I'm having the piano black, like the classic piano look. Right. Just, just totally classic. Kind of like a gloss. I don't know if you know, but I love black. It's I hadn't just, noticed. Black is the new black. <laughs> Um, so it's always in fashion. I had to wear this just for you. It just works all the time, you know. Uh, a little splash of color here and there. But uh, no, I'm taking those drums out. Brand new drum set. I think we're doing 50 or 60 shows this year. Mitchell Tenpenny is opening up for us. Wow. So Mitchell's we're going to hit, you know, the shed circuit in the summer and be sweating our brains out. Um, I burn, turns out I burn a th thousand calories in one 90 minute Jason Aldean wow. show. I had a, actually a scientist, a researcher come out and she hooked electrodes up to me. I was part of a five year study. Right. Turns out I've got the heart health of an athlete and no I'm surprise. out there playing like, it's like, like beach volleyball. Right. Da, 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 and so da, da, is da, that da. also just from throwing the sticks into the crowd also? Ja! You, can't, <laughs> you can't do that anymore. What? No, you have to go like this. <laughs> I like the old days where it was a little Just dangerous. sailing. Yeah, and then you had to like jump or dive to get them, you know? <laughs> right. That was the best. The guys do that with the picks still. Oh yeah, totally, because yeah. I mean, you can't hurt somebody. Well, it depends on if it's a metal pick, I guess. But I mean, so you're back out with DW. Yeah, D a DW Remo Sabian Cymbals uh, right. Promark drumsticks. Uh, my mom is so proud of this. My mom and dad, I have a, a signature drumstick that you can buy on Amazon. Wow. It's the Rich Redmond Promark Active Grip Stick. Oh my gosh. Crazy. And uh, I've had metal drummers like email me like, man, I don't know what kind of trees they're killing for these sticks, <laughs> but these things last forever. I'm talking like metal. Like, now, like, and I'm and like, just wow. for the record, this is a, a kid from, you know, New England. Yeah. A small yeah. town, Milford, yeah. Connecticut. And so signature drumsticks. You got DW giving you drum. You got Sabian symbols. Yeah. You got a new book. You got a podcast. You're teaching and on the road with Jason Aldean. I mean, life is good. <laughs> it really is, you know? You just roll up your sleeves, you know? If you're willing to put in the hard work, you know, and you're doing it for the right reasons, you right. got a smile on your face, you're a person of character, you're a person of integrity, you know, you, uh, you know, you can move that ball down the field, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, my girlfriend says, you work seven days a week. And I was like, well, you know, sometimes there's a day of rest, but even on, I know you do the same thing. We love what we do so much. Right. So even on our day of rest, there's a little something going on. And is, it doesn't feel like work if you're doing what you're passionate and you love. And obviously you are rich. And I think that comes through in everything you do. Well, it just it. permeates. And I know people are going to want to copy this book. You know, don't just do the audible book of it. You know, get the hard copy and get him to sign it for you. You know, because he's going to be doing some book signings. I know there are a number of places here in Nashville that are going to want to have you there, such as Parnassus, Books a Million, Barnes & Noble. Every, if, if you go to a bookstore and you can't find it, go online. Also, you might want to order a set of uh, signature drum sticks will go nicely with it you know i was thinking you could have had like a little drum pad on the back of the book you know it's a practice oh, yeah, thing yeah, yeah. yeah it's like a kit you totally. get a book and but a then practice you can't pad. see what all those nice well, people and, said and, about the book uh, yeah, it's like a whole list i mean you could i mean that's like a book in itself well hopefully you know this i'm in the business of changing lives you know my goals in life are to affect people in a positive way and change right. lives through my gift of entertainment and education. I call it edutainment. You and I are edutators. Right. You know, we're edutainment people. Um, so I just hope that this book will save people maybe five years on their journey. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish there was a book like this that, that was out when I moved oh, to Nashville. me too. You know, so I'm, it's just kind of really a love letter to Nashville. And if you have an interest in having country music be your profession right. at any age, this is a guideline. Well, and I want to make sure for our viewers, Rich, they know where to go for your website, your social media, the Jason Aldean tour, yeah. the podcast, the list goes on and on. Where do they go for all things? Well, richredmond.com, it's R-E-D-M-O-N-D. Mm -hmm. Richredmond.com is a hub for all things. Right. And you can learn about all of the things that I do. You can hire me to play on recording sessions. You can hire, if you're a Fortune 500 company, you want me to come speak to your company, I'll be a motivational speaker for right. you, which is a fun, fun thing. Uh, you could take drum lessons, all that fun stuff. And uh, you know, on all the socials, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, my YouTube channel that has almost 700 videos on it. It's just Rich Redmond. <laughs> and in between hosting charity events here in Nashville. Oh, and you tour a little bit. Yeah, we're touring. I mean, we're so excited. I'm sure you just go to jasonaldean.com for tour dates, Polestar, all those fun places. Just type in Jason Aldean. You'll see where we're going to be playing. Coming to your city, bringing the music to the people. 
So exciting, especially after that crazy two years that we had right. to be out there taking the music to the people again is like unbelievable. Well, and you're such a force of nature, Rich. And I'll tell you what, you, you don't have to be an up and comer or just moving to Nashville. I think this book is helpful even if you've been here for years and you're still not really getting it and you feel like you're, you, you need more information. Check out Rich's book. You want to get your own copy. Make it in in country music. Also, follow him. Go see him live. If you're looking for a session player or you want to learn drums better, he does it all. And if you missed that, go to the Ryman and catch him at a charity event, right? All right. I'll tell you what, Rich, I love the book. Thanks for coming on the show, buddy. Thank you so much. Congratulations on all the great success. Thank you. I think more is coming. Appreciate it. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show.